John, you've been retired from the U.S. Mint for about two years. How are you spending your time? Well, I just, I've, as you said, Dave, I've been retired for two years, and uh, I spent I spent a year of my time writing the book, and I have um, a lot of personal stuff I'm doing. I'm playing catch up with uh, uh, about six or seven portraits at home in my studio, so it keeps me pretty busy. Plus, I raise my grandchildren, help me help raise my grandchildren, so. Well, tell me about the book and what was involved in creating that. Uh, Whitman came to me and um, initially I wanted to do a biography. And they said they would uh, like to uh, do a, or have me write a book uh, about the, uh, the history of the Silver Eagle coin. And uh, of course it was challenging and I, and I, um, I once I got into it, I really enjoyed it. I, I didn't think I would make the, uh, the limited number of pages, but I surpassed that. You know, when I once I started writing, because once you start writing, you know, this stuff just keeps piling up. And oh yeah, that I remember this, and then I remember that, and you know, so it began to accumulate. And um, I have a co-author, Miles Standish, uh, from PCGS, and he handled all the technical aspects of the coin. <coughs> Excuse me, I bought a ring today from uh, the Romans, so I got a 2,000-year-old ring, and I'm really, I really like it. Um, and um, Miles handles all the technical aspects, every coin year by year, and I give a history of the Mint, some of my early years at the Mint, and some of the humorous uh, things that happened, and some of the people I've met uh, over the years, and some of the people I work with, and um, it's kind of a prelude to the biography, the autobiography, so it's, uh, it, it worked out pretty good, and I'm pretty proud of it, and I hope, I hope the collectors like it, uh, we did it for the collector, and um, we did it for uh, uh, for everyone that has an interest in the mint. You know, you turn on TV and uh, you go into the History Channel, and you know, the secrets of the United States mint. <laughs> you know, but uh, we we get around some of that because there are really no secrets. It's a it's a public institution, but um, we you know we we don't give away any secrets. I mean, there are no secrets to give away. We just um, bring it down to the human level and let you, let you meet some of the people. Gasparro, some of the early engravers I worked with, who were really a, a great crowd of people to work with. For all your years at the Mint, what would you say is the most important thing you learned there? Uh, the most important, important thing I learned at the Mint was patience. Uh, you have to have patience to do this job. It's, uh, it's highly skilled, highly technical, and it takes a lot of concentration. And if you don't have patience, <laughs> it could really wear thin real quick. But um, I must have had patience because I lasted close to 40 years there. And what's left? What do you hope to? What do you hope to achieve with your time now? With my time uh, that I have left, uh, I'd, um, I'd like to do my private work. I, as I said, I have some portraits I'm working on. I got. I kind of got tired over over the years doing portraits of dead people, so now I'm doing portraits of living people. Uh, some dead, but you know, <laughs> most of them living and uh, enjoying it a lot. And uh, I, as, as any sculptor or artist, my studio has uh, 10 jobs working simultaneously, and people are asking me, in fact, some of the people here I was doing um, we had years ago, about a year ago, loaned me some material for some of the uh, projects that I was, work was working on at the time. And they said, are you done yet? I said, no, I'm not done yet, but patience and I will be done soon. So I'll be casting them and uh, that, that's basically how I'm spending my time. And enjoying it, I must say, enjoying it. We appreciate all the things you've done for us and coinage and best of luck. Thank you very much, it's been a pleasure.